Diddy is in the crosshairs of the feds, and they mean business. You would have thought they were taking down a violent gang leader, not somebody who makes music and has charmed America for decades. Diddy is under criminal investigation after multiple lawsuits accused him of horrific crimes. Music mogul Sean Diddy Combs, accused of sex trafficking and sexual assault. Now, people who lived in Diddy's world are talking to TMZ, and what they say is revealing and disturbing. I knew all of that was going on. I've known the whole time. I've seen Puff have anger spazzes on producers, females. I'm a savage! Whatever I want, I'm going to get! Whatever I want, I have to get! Diddy's alleged bad behavior went unchecked for years. There have always been whispers and rumblings about Diddy. His famous friends are heading for the hills. They have a 250 cameras they took. It's going to be interesting, y'all. I don't think it's only celebrities going to be shook. He had politicians in there. He had princes in there. He also had a couple of preachers in there. People may fear that somehow he makes it out of this. What did they fear? A flat tire, being murdered, I don't know. But Suge Knight, Diddy's arch enemy, shockingly is sad over Diddy's undoing. I'm not the type of guy to cheer for people's downfall. And if somebody gets killed or something happens, I'm not gonna pop down the pain bottle. I done seen this dude shake back from some stuff, right? So I'm not gonna count him out. TMZ presents the downfall of Diddy. just getting out of the shower and um, walked inside of the studio. And um, it was such a nice day. I'm like, let me go sit outside on the bench for a little while. I heard a big boom. And then I heard like, goo -goo 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 -goo, like the sounds of like <laughs> armored vehicles coming, approaching. Simultaneous raids on March 25th, 2024. A massive show of force. Dozens of Homeland Security officers rolled up in armored vehicles at Sean Diddy Combs' mansions in Miami and LA. Diddy's close friend and producer, Stevie J, was at the Miami property when things got real. Guys jumped out, you know what I'm saying? Guns up and aimed. Get up, get on the fucking ground. Give me, drop your fucking phone. Yeah, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, I'm here by myself. You know, um, I didn't ask too many questions. I've seen quite a lot of things, but none with the excessive force of this right here. You would have thought they were taking down a violent gang leader, not somebody who makes music and appears in movies and has charmed America for decades. Breaking news, the Department of Homeland Security has just confirmed to CNN that federal law enforcement agents have raided properties owned by musician and producer Sean Diddy Combs. You can see a crowbar to get through this gate initially as well, the long guns and a multitude of people. As you'll see, they'll zoom out a little bit just to see the amount of force they are using. You know him as Diddy, formerly Puff Daddy, big time rapper, big time producer, big time superstar, and now the feds at his houses in both locations. Federal officers spent hours removing firearms, computers, boxes, and bags of items. Both properties left in shambles.
They didn't do this to, to Harvey Weinstein, right? They didn't do this like this to Epstein, right? Diddy's lawyer called the raids a gross overuse of military level force and a witch hunt. He said Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name. I don't know what they're looking for or where they're trying to reach. In LA, two of Diddy's sons, Justin and King, were briefly detained, then released. A week later, Justin's mom, Misa Hilton, posted this shocking video on social media. Security footage from inside the house. Officers with guns drawn and pointed toward Justin and his brother King. Misa called it overzealous and deplorable. It's hard for me to imagine that had this been many other celebrities, particularly white celebrities, that their children would have been in handcuffs and they would have been forced to stare down the barrel of, of guns and, and seen armored tanks. It, it just seemed like a lot for, for a raid of a music producer. You have to remember that Diddy has been in trouble on some weapons violations in the past. He has security. These are vast compounds with multiple people at them. And so using this type of force was not inappropriate in any way, shape, or form. A federal judge had determined there was evidence, significant evidence, Diddy was involved in sex trafficking, sexual assault, and soliciting and distributing illegal narcotics and firearms. And that's why the search warrants were signed. This is a massive investigation. The idea that the feds have taken up this investigation in the first place indicates that it's remarkably serious. Aubrey O'Day, a member of Danity Kane and star of Making the Band, has been the lone voice for years, saying Diddy is a bad guy. She has not spoken publicly since the new allegations surfaced until now. If these allegations are true, why did it take so long for others to speak out? Because you really were a lone voice. Real lone voice. I was literally text messaging producers, employers, from top to bottom levels. Like, y'all know what the fuck you saw. JK47. Try to take what's mine, but the block you must be bugging. I'll be forced to let the dump or blow a hole inside your pumpkin, bitch. The streets is all I know. Fuck a hot diddy ho. Did KO a gangster bitch, one who's trapping with the blow. In the summer, make it snow. Hurricane in the club, on my waist is a snub. All these bitches know what's up. I'm from a place where niggas don't walk too much. Girls from the hearse, they wouldn't fuck us if we talk too much. Thank you for checking in with me. You want to stay updated? Check out this playlist right here. Oh, you still here? Hit subscribe.